Hey, First Baptist, thanks for connecting with us. I want to share something with you. Listen to this. This is good stuff. Paul said, For I deliver to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to Scripture, and that he was buried, and that he was raised on the third day according to Scriptures. And then when he wrote to the Romans, he filled in some of the details when he said that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that if we confess with our mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. Isn't that great? Isn't that good news? Now, I know some of you right now are thinking, well, yeah, that's good news. That's the gospel. But pastor, we've already heard the gospel. We've embraced it. We're already Christians. But you know what? That's exactly the point. Because the gospel isn't just for those who are still lost in their sin. The gospel is for all of us. Paul also said that it's the power of God unto salvation for all who believe. We have to understand that the gospel isn't simply a starting point that we eventually leave. The gospel is the foundation upon which we continually build. And as we continually build on that foundation, we are reminded of some things that are critically important to us especially in times of turmoil and transition. We are reminded that God knew our greatest need, and we're reminded of the extent of his love and his willingness to meet that need. We are reminded that in Christ Jesus, we are reconciled and redeemed. And, and God did that because he wants us to know the full measure of his goodness, and he still wants us to know him and his goodness. We're reminded that our relationship with God isn't based upon what we do, but based upon what Christ has done, and that will never change. And we're reminded of his heart and his love for those around us, especially those who are not easy to love. So here's my invitation and my encouragement to you, First Baptist. Preach the gospel. Tell that story daily. Tell it to yourself. Tell it to your Christian friends. Tell it to your non-Christian neighbors. I'm reminded of the words of a Christian hymn that says, I love to tell the story for those who know it best seem hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. Some of us hunger and thirst to hear that story over and over again. So that's it. Preach the gospel. And as you do that, keep serving the Lord. And we'll see you on Sunday.